Hey guys, hope you're feeling hungry. It's time to head back down to the factory in Chocolatier Decadence by Design. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of uh, chocolate making madness. Um, so we are currently in Tokyo, right where we left off last week, uh, making more chocolates. We are just about to head back to San Francisco because I believe that um, we are nearly finished with the ingredients that we have for the pumpkin truffles. Um, so that's probably about a good enough time for us to go ahead and start on the next batch. Um, so I will keep cycling around because it gives me the opportunity to go and get all of the ingredients because we can now change the recipes on our travels so it means that we don't have to worry too much about that um, so assuming that we will actually have we use nutmeg on that one so we'll actually need to get some on the way back anyway um, the other truffle recipe is the several one <laughs> and we need to go back to the same place to get those um so i guess we are making our way to tangiers first uh before we head all the way back um and in actual fact we only have one nutmeg left so i guess that was a good time as any and it's very expensive i'm not gonna lie uh over three thousand for saffron and I think we only fortunately uh, needed 50 so that's fine and ooh, that might be a bit too much for raspberry but you know actually which one was the okay you know what? well we'll, sp we'll spend that on uh, oranges and we will just keep making those and just cranking those out and he will actually give us the best price on coffee so it makes sense to sell those off and now now we can officially head back to san francisco and uh, get going on that last batch so let me just check those right everything that we need for those that is fine What does that one need? That one needs sugar. Okay. Oh no, that one actually did need. Whoops. Yeah, that one can have that. Um, I think when it gets to this point, it's definitely oops, um, definitely less about trying to get perfect matches and more about trying to actually just get them finished um, because a lot of the time it's a lot harder to actually um, try and get the combinations and make the chocolates. Um, as you can see, I uh, seem to be on a downward spiral with the truffles and uh, definitely making worse and worse ones each time. Um, okay, so I think that means that we now have 100 of those, so that's great. Um, the only two ingredients for those um, are in Dula anyway. And I think, I think what we need to do is make a trip to uh, Kona of all places because it's the only other place we currently have a chocolate drop um, and they will give us the best prices. They should also have stuff like truffle powder um, because they are on the sort of coast area, uh, equator line, that was the word I was looking for there. Um, so I'm just going to sell off all of these 
and <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I don't press that button right there because um, that's the worst button to press okay so that, that will definitely help me keep track of these so we've got enough of the hot and sweets um, we need 35 more of the pumpkin truffles uh, 50 more of the saffron ones and I think I might switch over to do those ones just while we're here uh, so that we can hopefully get another one ticked off the list because otherwise we're going to be waiting around for quite some time okay so for these ones definitely need more Peruvian cacao so that's fine so we can get that and we also need some more for the Unsurprisingly, for the Peruvian <laughs> chocolates. Um, oh, if only we hadn't literally just sold those. Okay, that's fine. Milk chocolate honey ones. We can do that. And I went to the wrong place. So that was not helpful. Um, but these prices aren't too bad. I mean, I'm not going to lie, those are terrible. Um, I don't think we actually need anything else. It probably can't hurt to have more of the Peruvian cacao anyway. Um, no, that wasn't the right one. Um, <laughs> I'm getting them all mixed up. Colombian, that was it. Sorry. Um, and we do actually need more of the Peruvian cacao, which is why my brain is going to that one. Um, let's just get 200 and then hopefully that should be enough. Um, fingers crossed, maybe? We don't need that much honey, but it doesn't. Thought I turned off steam overlay. Um, but yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't hurt to have that anyway. So, where do we need to go next? Those are almost out, which I think is good. So it should mean that once we're back here. since you seem to have gone up in price I uh, think it's probably best not to spend too much on those okay so oh no <laughs> Gotta go back. <laughs> Gotta go back, guys. <laughs> that one was good, though. I didn't think we didn't know that. Have we been using that? I genuinely don't know. Is that the varietal one? No, we have not. So I don't know when that came from. Okay, let's just let's just fork out for it, and we will do all the consequences. Um, oh, shoot! Our cinnamon's been disappearing, so that's not great either. 
Apparently I've never made cinnamon coffee, so that's not helpful. Um, this this is what I mean about stuff going uh, going to waste. It does so very very quickly if you're not 100% paying attention to it all the time. Um, I don't think I've got anything that actually uses Balinese cacao, so I don't think I can actually... Oh, that one does. That must be why I had some then. And why I had the lemons and the blueberries, that makes sense. Um, so let's move to that one. Uh, we're chasing our tails a little bit with those, so let's make the... Let's not make the honey truffles, because we can't. It's probably best if we sort of... Okay, wasn't trying to end up in Las Vegas, but apparently we're here now. Uh, which is great, because they had milk. Um, they also had the world's most ridiculously expensive uh, strawberries. Okay. Yeah, so that uh, Balinese cacao is definitely disappearing. Which is not ideal, but can't really do much about it. What we can do is make sure that these don't start disappearing because that's not going to be great for anybody. Um, so we are um, actually we are going to leave it there. Um, again I think this one was definitely more of a, a grindy video than anything. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it all of the same. Um, it's not always uh, I mean, to be fair, it's not really like an action-packed action uh, game as it is. Um, but sometimes there is definitely more grinding than there is uh, <laughs> anything else. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like the video that um, makes me happy and if you subscribe to the channel then hopefully that means that you will see uh, when I post more of these videos and if you're enjoying them then I definitely encourage that. Um, also feel free to check out uh, the other videos on this channel. I have a few now for uh, my review of Cloud Gardens which is a really uh, lovely um, chill game where you essentially uh, sort of turn barren wastelands into plant havens uh, it's gorgeous it's really fun it's currently on early access on steam um, and yeah I definitely encourage you to check out my other videos I am also on Twitch on Mondays Tuesdays and occasionally Saturdays at 5 p.m. UK time and I'm doing some different games to uh, to these ones um, currently I'm playing through Jurassic World Evolutions on Mondays and Dragon Age on Tuesdays and when I have a creative spark in me occasionally I'll be doing uh, crafting on Saturdays um, but yeah, I am going to stop with the waffling for now and I'm going to let you guys uh, go about your days. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.